Welcome. We're going to go over the practice problems for Mass C, Section 2.1, which is finding the vertex for a linear absolute value equation. Well, here's kind of like a standard form. It's not really standard form. I don't know if there's a name for this. But this is the form we like to see these in. So it's solve for y. That's the key. And so a is the vertical stretch. And if a is a negative, it also means the vertical reflection. h is the horizontal shift. Notice this being added to x is the opposite of h. So whatever number we're adding to x is the opposite of the horizontal shift. That's a sign error waiting to happen for students. And then the number we add on the outside, adding is a shift. It's on the outside, so it's a vertical shift. And notice it's positive k. So whatever number k is, that is the vertical shift. So that means the vertex is always going to be h comma k. So you're going to have the vertex. You're going to, you're going to say, oh, it's h comma k. Whatever those numbers are, 3 comma 5, whatever. Right? And if a is positive, it's going to go up with that slope. Boom, like this. And if a is a negative number, then it's going to go down with that slope. Boom. So you're either going to get the red graph or the blue graph. That's how this works. They're easy to graph. And here, I'm not even asking you to draw the graph. We're just finding the vertex. But I'm going to draw the graph anyways because I may know and I just want to. Okay, so here we go. What are we adding to x? Well, negative 3. So that means the vertex. I'm going to put the vertex in the middle of the screen here. And I'm going to write this out to the side. So I can go up or down. By the way, this is negative here. So I know it's going down. Okay, so... We're adding negative 3 to x, so that means the horizontal shift is actually positive 3. So this is 3 to the right of the origin. And then the vertical shift is negative 1. So there's my vertex, 3 comma negative 1. And because this is a negative, it opens downward with a slope of 2. So we're going to go down 2 units, and 1 to the left, 1 to the right. And then we just have to connect the dots from there. Boom, there's our graph. So, notice this is negative 1 for the vertex. So the x-axis is up here 1 unit. So this is the where y equals 0, which is the x-axis. So when the question says, what are the roots here, you would say, there are no real roots. Because this guy never crosses the x-axis. That would be the next lesson. All this blends together. It's pretty cool. And it's not hard. That's what's nice. Here. Where's the vertex at? Well, what are we adding to x? We're adding positive 4. So that means the x-coordinate, the horizontal shift, is actually negative 4. So it's shifted 4 to the left of the origin. And then the vertical shift is negative 3. So it's shifted 3 down. So that means the origin is up here somewhere, 0, 0. So we're shifted 4 to the left, 3 down. And this is a positive 2. So this guy goes upwards towards positive infinity. So with the slope of 2 and negative 2. So up 2, 1 to the left. Up 2, 1 to the right. Boom, we connect the dots. There's our graph. And notice x equals 0. Since the lower part of the graph is negative 3, so x equals 0 will be up above it somewhere. So notice there's going to be two different roots. And whatever negative 4 is, they're going to be the same distance One's going to be a certain distance to the left of negative 4, and the other one will be the exact same distance to the right. So whatever this distance is right here, it's the same distance here, because the graphs are symmetric. Pretty cool. All right, this guy right here. So the vertex. We're adding positive 1 to x. So the vertex is going to be a horizontal shift of negative 1. And then the vertical shift is negative 1. And this guy's positive 2. So we're going to go up 2, over 1 to the left, 1 to the right. Do a fancy line actually here. Boom. And notice negative 1 is below 0. So y equals 0 would be up here somewhere. And so that means there's going to be two roots. Root here, 
root there. And they're going to be symmetric about uh, negative 1. So if this is 1 to the left, this guy here is going to be 1 to the right of negative 1. This is 2 to the left of negative 1, then this guy's 2 to the right of negative 1. Symmetry, man. Very cool. Which means in math, when you see symmetry, you should be thinking shortcut. Okay. All you had to do in all these problems was find the vertex. This should be easy problem set to do in like 10 minutes. So, hopefully piece of cake. Go ahead and get started on it. Good luck.